I, I feel like I may have talked about this before, but I can't remember. And if I can't remember, maybe you can't remember, but this is a tanzanite. And he's a big granddaddy of a stone. And he actually is a pendant that comes off of this diamond necklace, which is beautiful on its own. I'm actually really partial to it. I think it's really sweet. If something with that many carrots can be considered sweet, but then out of nowhere comes this thing. So people always ask if it's the, you know, the heart of the ocean, which I think is pretty funny, but it kind of has that vibe for sure. It's this gigantic pear-shaped tanzanite. So what's a tanzanite? Tanzanite was discovered in 1967, and I can't remember right now if it was actually discovered in 1967, as in the mineral zoocyte was discovered in 1967, or if they just figured out how to heat it and make it these beautiful colors. So Unheated zoocyte is kind of a brownish, and sometimes it has some green and some other pretty tones, and they can facet it and make it lovely. But tanzanite is what really catapulted the mineral to fame, and it's when you heat treat zoocyte, you make it blue slash purple. Um, tanzanite became really popular in the late 60s, early 70s by Tiffany & Company. Um, Tiffany & Company has always been extremely innovative when it comes to colored gemstones, trying to break new ground, find new things. I love it. Um, I love, you know, any American kind of thing. And Tiffany is American and does a lot of good work with gemology. So tanzanite, this is not a Tiffany piece, but it's just a massive rock. What's cool about it? So I'm gonna tell you something. Tanzanite is heav heavily dichroic, which means that when you turn the crystal around, you get two different colors. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you this, but I will try. So if the stone had been cut this angle face up or this angle face up, it would be a different color than this angle face up. So tanzanite, the less expensive stuff is paler and more purple. Um, the more expensive stuff is deeper, richer blue, and it will face up that deep, rich blue. So if I take this stone, I'm hoping you can see it. Like, see that blue? That's what it looks like in person. It's really bright and incandescent. But then if I turn it around and I put my probe on it, let's see, let's see. You know, I want to show you. Will you see? It's supposed to go purple. Ah, do you see it there? So it's more like an amethyst almost color, but then from the face up, it is this bright, oh, well, there goes an amethyst color. I'm not doing this right, but I can only promise you that when you rotate the stone around, you get two different colors, more of a purple versus more of a blue. Same thing here, this one's really blue, and then more of a purple from the sides. Um, when you get technical cutters, know all the terms, C-axis, and optic axis, and I'm not even gonna pretend, but I will tell you that when the stone is mounted, sometimes it can be hard to tell, especially when it's this big. You run all your other tests, you can take out your handy dandy little dichroscope and you put the fiber optic cable on it and you look at the di dichroscope. You'll see the two different colors side by side. So you can really tell, I can't even open this thing. I, I'm just not prepared for y'all today. But if I use my dichroscope, it's this little tube and I look at the stone, I'll see two separate colors side by side and that's how I know that it is dichroic. Um, tanzanite's actually pleochroic. It has more than one color um, that you'll see in different directions, so you have to rotate it around to see the multiple colors. But um, it is really indicative of tanzanite. Similar colored stones like iolite are also dichroic, but iolite goes from like a really pale watery brown to a purplish blue. Um, tourmaline is extremely dichroic. You get all sorts of colors. But tanzanite is famous because of this dark bluish purple to like a light purple and you'll see cheaper tanzanite out like especially if you take a cruise uh, for some reason they like to specialize in tanzanite and you'll see this like baby pale violet um, and it's called tanzanite it just doesn't have it's not cut properly the stone's maybe not big enough to do it so when you're shopping for it you look for this kind of color or actually this color's even <laughs> as i drop it and I don't want to drop tanzanite particularly because it is, <gasps> hello, um, tanzanite is fragile. It does not like heat, does not like temperature changes. Um, it's fine with the color stay stable and light, but you have to be super careful with how much heat you let touch it and it will abrade. So over a period of time, you usually need to get it um, repolished.